Are you going round the bend trying to draw curves in Illustrator? Well, stick around for this video and get you on the straight and narrow. Now, if there's one tool in any software that causes more grief and stress, I would say it's the pen tool in Illustrator. I've actually been in rooms where grown men and women have nearly broken down into tears trying to use this tool. So what's the deal? Well, Illustrator's got a really good set of tools where you can draw shapes and using Pathfinder, cut shapes out of other shapes and make almost anything you want to. But when it comes to drawing organic shapes, that's curves, hand-drawn curves, or something that doesn't look like it's made on a computer, you're going to have to use the pen tool. Now, a quick disclaimer, I know there's other tools on Illustrator that can do this. The brush tool has really improved over the years. But if you want to get into Illustrator and use it to its full potential, you're going to have to learn how to use the pen tool. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. Now, what I've got on the screen is some hand-drawn doodles nothing artistic and nothing serious just an illustration of how you're going to use the pen tool to mimic these curves so this is a picture i've imported in so there's no way i can modify these curves all i can do is trace over them let's get to it this first wave is one of the classic pen tool shapes that you're going to learn how to draw so i'll just zoom right in let's go to the pen tool i'm going to take the fill away because we're not filling any shapes today and for the stroke, I'm going to actually turn it into a orange and I'm going to make the stroke a little bit fatter. So it's going to be at two points. Now with all of that done, let's get going and figure out how we're actually going to draw these things. Now let's start using the pen tool. Let me just zoom in a tiny bit more just so that you can see what I'm doing. Start off at the beginning of the line. Remember that this line is hand drawn, so it's not a perfect wave. It is what it is and later we'll talk about whether we really need to modify the curve or do we stick to the pencil line that's underneath so click don't let go of your mouse move in the direction of the curve and now let go i'm going to go to the apex of the curve that's where the curve bends and starts to go down i'm going to click not letting go Move my mouse in the direction of the curve. That's that way there. Let go. I'm going to go to the bottom of the curve here. I'm going to click, not let go. Now I'm going to move my mouse in the direction of the curve. You can see that this curve has gone wrong there. Let's not worry about that now. I'm going to go to the top of the curve. Click, don't let go. Move your mouse in the direction of the curve. And I'm going to keep doing that at the bottom. And you might get tired of me saying click, don't let go. But I tell you, that's the most frustrating thing because when you click and let go, you end up with a sharp corner. And that's not what we're doing today. Let me just undo that last step. Go to the bottom of that curve, click, don't let go. Move my mouse in the direction of the curve. And then to finish off, I'm going to go to the top there, click, not let go. And finish off there. Now, once I finish my curve, it's waiting for the next point. I don't want to make another point, so I'm going to press enter. You can also press escape on your keyboard. Now you can see that the curve I drew hasn't followed exactly the line underneath. No panic, no worry. Let's go to the white arrow here that's underneath the black arrow. And the white arrow lets you select individual points and then edit them. So what we'll do is we'll just move those little handles so that's that point over there let's just move the handles until the curve starts matching i can see that i've got a problem here that means that this point is a little bit too far up let me move it down so it's at the apex of the curve now the apex is that bit of the curve where it stops going up and starts going down so that's the last part of the curve if you will let me just now move these handles you can see i'm doing it with a bit of patience there's no need to rush and a bit of advice, guys, if, if you're going to rush using the pen tool, you're going to make mistakes. It's meditation with a mouse using a pen tool. You can see that this curve isn't matching up. Now, I have to make a decision. Is the curve OK or is the pencil drawing OK? In this case, I think my pencil drawing wobbled a bit. 
So I'm just going to leave the curve where it is. Just go to each handle very slowly and calmly. I'm just going to move those handles until the curve matches the drawing. Just take your time here a little bit. One thing to note, guys, if if you move a point like this, if you move one of the handles up, it doesn't just affect one side, it affects the other side. It's a bit like a seesaw. Now, there I am with my curve. You can see it's not matching perfectly there or there. But if I now thicken up this line, you can see that my curve actually looks pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. I think, personally, it's an improvement of this line. You can see there's a little bump there, and you can see there's a little bump there. And I think that my curve actually achieves the goal of the curve better than the pencil drawing. And that's a decision you have to make, whether the pencil drawing is accurate and you have to follow that, or are you going to smooth some curves and make it look better? Now let's try this one over here. This is quite a nightmare scenario for the pen tool. Let's grab the pen tool again. I'm going to click over here. Remember, click, don't let go. Move in the direction of the curve like that. I'm going to let go. Now this shape has a curve which goes in on itself. So I'm just going to work out how many points I need. Let's stop there. Click, don't let go. Move my mouse down. I'm going to go to the apex of the curve there, roughly speaking. Move in the direction of the curve. There, that was a very small handle there. And lastly, the last point, click, don't let go and see if I can just adjust that until it's there. Now I can see, let's press escape this time. That finishes the line there. You can see over here, there's some problem where that curve is a bit too severe. So what I'm going to do, pick up that point, move it slightly in, and then just make some little adjustments like this and like this. And I think that has smoothed the curve. Again, let's pull up the stroke. And actually, I'm pretty okay with that. That's not bad. Let's do the figure eight, which again is a nightmare scenario for making curves with a pen tool. So let's do that very quickly. Let's start at the top. That's an apex. Click, don't let go. You see, I missed the line there. No worries. There's no need to panic. We can fix that later. We'll go down. Click, drag in the direction of the curve. Now we've got this thing here. I'm actually going to go to the middle here. Click, pull, drag like that. I'm going to go to the apex there. You can see my pencil drawing isn't so great there. It's a bit of a bump. Go to the apex there. That's a big drag there, isn't it? Let's go there. There. Now I'm speeding up a bit because I think I'm getting my confidence here. Now where do I put a point? If I put it there, I'm going to ruin it because I'm joining a point to a point. So let's just go next to that one. And let's pull that there. You can see my handles are getting bigger. So my curves have to do a lot more. That was my last one there. I'm actually going to go back to the original and join it together. That's not bad, is it? Let's click on the white arrow. Let's fix that one point that I messed up right at the start there. Let's just push and pull handles until it looks okay. And I think overall that's not bad. Again, let's thicken up the line just to see if that did it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Very smooth figure of eight. And you can see that underneath. Let's just make the opacity a little bit less you can see that the line underneath matches and again if you're tracing a pencil drawing remember that at some points you're going to have to break away from the line to fix a curve if there's a let's say a wobble in the line now i'm going to move directly to the heart as there's two points in here and that can be quite hard to figure out what to do with when you're using a pen tool let's just start from the point there let's click and I'm actually going to let go because when you have a corner, you can just let go of the pen tool, click it once, and you will create a sharp corner. Let's go to the apex here. Click and drag. It's not bad. Let's go here. Oh, I've got a very thick line. Let me just reduce the size of that line. I don't really want to be messing around with that thickness there. Let's go to the apex roughly there. 
Now we've got a situation where our curve is going to reverse. So we've got an outside curve and now we've got an inside curve. Let's put a point here. And I don't know if I put it in the right place or the wrong place. We'll figure it out later. Let's put that there. And then over here, let's put in a point. Now you can see that I've got a really weird curve there. I'm not worried about that. What I'm now going to do is create mirror image points on the other side of the heart. I'm just going to go here. I'm going to follow the curve, even though the line here is messing up. Let's not worry about that. Again, I'm going to do a mirror image over here. Just follow the curve as best I can. Put a mirror image over here, pull that line across, and then let's finish with a click. That's not bad. Let's click on the white arrow. Let's start pushing and pulling our points. Move them if you have to. Again, let's use our best judgment. Are we following the line drawing exactly? Or are we making a good looking heart? And in this case, I think a good looking heart beats trying to follow the line exactly. Now, let's fix this thing at the bottom, which is a mess. So what we've got is something that should be a point, which is actually a curve. And a really cool way of making a curve sharp is to take one of the handles, in this case, the one outside, and push it into the origin point there. And you can see that it has the effect of making a curve into a triangle. We'll fix that triangle because it looks really ugly. But we'll do that in a second. And I think what we have to do now, let's see if we can make this line over here a little bit better. So I'm going to pull that curve up. You can see that now I've got a problem because because of that seesaw action, I've actually pulled the line out of the heart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this down a little bit. That allows me to shorten this handle over here, giving me a slightly better curve. And then I'm going to go here and I'm going to smooth out everything like that. Not perfect yet. So I'm just going to push and pull until it does what I want it to. Now we're getting there. Not quite, but we're getting there. And I think I'm still not happy with this. So I'm just going to push and pull it a little bit. And I'll pull this point down a bit as well. Now you see that really ugly point there. That happens in curves when you turn them into corners. That's an easy one to solve because we can go to the stroke over here. And where we have a sharp corner, we can turn it into a round corner. And you can see that's an instant solve for that. I'm still not 100% happy with that. So I'm just going to push and pull some of the points until they do what I want them to. Let's just click on the line and see where we're going. It's this point over here, I think that's given me the most grief. So we can do that. And I'm going to shorten this a little bit as well. Now let's lengthen it slightly just to see if we can... Sh I think I'm going to stick there. Because of the pencil drawing and the way it is, I don't want to add more points. I just want a heart that looks like a heart. And for me, once I thicken up the line, that looks really, really good. Not perfect. I think I could have spent a little bit more time over on this side of the world where it wasn't so smooth. But again, I'm running through these as fast as I can. If you spend a little bit more time doing this, you can create some absolutely beautiful curves. So hopefully watching this video, the frustration will go of using the pen tool. I highly recommend learning how to use the pen tool, practicing how to use the pen tool, and then using the pen tool any chance you get. Because as I said, if you want to be good at Illustrator, if you want to do the pro work, you've got to use the pro tools. And I know that with a bit of practice, you can click on the pen tool and draw like an absolute master in Illustrator. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Think about clicking that like button, subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up, and maybe think about hitting the bell notifications if you want to be notified every time a new video comes up.